massive destruction as angry and umbra youth burns down truck fully loaded with cows. Another truck suffers an attack from angry mobs in Anambra state as a truck was set ablaze after being involved in a deadly accident that claimed two lives. Some eyewitness accounts said it was a case of brake failure. About 12 people were said to have been affected by the crash, but only two people have lost their lives so far. Others injured other injured persons have been taken to the hospital for immediate treatment. Based on reports from Federal Road Safety Commission FRSC, the truck is a red man diesel truck. Its registration number is JJN 59YZ. It reportedly crashed into another car, a green under C average with no registration number and three other cars, namely Red Mercedes Benz Formatic and TV with registration number ABJ 155DA, a black Toyota Islander with registration number Oka 226HM, and an Ash Lexus SUV with registration number KJ A 136FT. FRSC reports also said that one of the victims was rushed into Princeton Hospital by their rescue team. He said he was responding to treatment. However, two other victims that they took to Amaku General Hospital did not make it. They were pronounced dead in the hospital. Meanwhile, according to a report quoted to Vanguard News Online, immediately the news broke out that those earlier Rush to the hospital had died, the mom went basak. They reportedly said the truck ablaze with all the cows. This happened around 2.30 p.m. Recall that one truck carrying onions was recently reported to have been attacked by a known government where the contents were being looted by the community in Imo State that has made the onion marketers from the north shun the east in terms of onion supplies Presently, there are no trucks loading onions to the east from the northern part of Nigeria. It's not yet clear how they will respond to this latest alleged attack. So guys, we've had angry mob burns down a truck full of cows. I would say we shouldn't do jungle justice and we shouldn't take laws into our hands because of if police were to be there, some of the youth might have been arrested because of the kind of burn out things because of things like this are happening in the country like it is so 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 crazy so 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 crazy that they had to burn down a truck fully loaded of cows the owner of the cows has lost a lot of money doesn't matter because of you guys want to gain freedom you then have to take laws into your hand remember Destroying things is also a sin, and many people will pay the price. We shouldn't take laws into our hands. So let us see comments by some people. Some people said, "You people, do you think you can change what God has destined with your view mind? Which land are you talking about? The land is belong to God, not evils. And don't forget, accident is natural from God, and what they did is called suicide." And it proves what people are saying about the Ibos is true. They are at least, if they get a chance to rule this country, they will kill every Northern and not only Funani. Because of that, we say no president, no Biafra, till the end of the world. And someone also replied, if we get a chance, we will kill millions of you people as you are killing us. We will make sure we kill all of you or every Evil blood is precious and cannot be taken out like that by your so-called brothers. Let me tell you something. In life, it is not about ethnic group. It is about having your brother's keeper. It doesn't matter if people do things bad for you. You have to repay evil for evil. Even the Bible said, Jesus said in the Bible, If someone slap you, 
turn your other face for the person to slap you. I'm not saying you should do that in reality, but you should just overlook what the people have done. What goes around comes around. Even though the not are just passing and doing a lot of things, just leave them alone to the hands of God. Not that you take laws into your hand. Taking laws into your hand is now a sin. Because of if you are now putting anger of what has happened in the past, hmm, my brother, things might get worse. And that's what is affecting most people and youth in this community. They take laws into their hand. As you have killed those cows now, do you know that all these people that you kill their cows, they might even they might not be happy. Their their they soul might not be happy with you. And if someone so is not happy with you, that, like I don't understand because of you are fighting for your rights. I'm not I'm not criticizing anybody, but it doesn't matter because of the the, the you want to divide the country wants to divide. They want to be separate nations, be Afro Yoruba nations. Don't take laws into your hand. I've never seen this type of thing happen in the West, Southwest. Even though the, the, your bars are fighting for your bar nation, it's only the aggressors that are fighting. I've not seen any youth talking about your bar nation. I've never seen any youth fighting, killing about anything. People are just doing their own, minding their own business in the Southwest. But the South is, I know you guys are fighting for it, but you shouldn't take laws into your hand. It's what has happened now. I don't even want to convince people to even give. You what you want. Like, someone also said, this is the main reason why some youth won't progress in life. Setting a full loaded truck of cow on fire is not advisable. If they want to set the truck on fire, they should have let those cows go. Those cows no longer belong to the outside. It is now for an evil man's property, and you don't know the prayer of those cows. You think as they don't talk like we do, do it ever means they don't have mind of reasoning. God hears their prayer more than. Because if you don't know this is such act, if you want to part. Yeah, so this person has said is true. Cows that are innocent. The cows that is not is it only for that are rain cows? It's not only for that are raining cows. It is not only for that are raining cows. Even the Igbos and Yorubas too are raining cows. I see most people around here in my area that are raining cows, that are Yorubas. Now you've said someone cows are blessed because of your angry mind, because of what the people have done to you. You shouldn't take clothes into your hand. I'm really, really disappointed in the youth in that place, in the Anambra state. I'm really, really disappointed. And we call ourselves Christian. We shouldn't repay evil for evil. We call we are all Christians. We, we, are, we, are, we are one. We are one. You shouldn't take clothes into our hand. Like, I am so, so disappointed in the youth over there. Because of the kill someone, you are, you are, you are, not, you are not doing revenge. The, the, Bible, the Bible told us we should not do revenge. The Bible said we should not we shouldn't take revenge. Now we took revenge because of the, all what they, these people have been doing to us, all what they've been doing. In the southwest, I see people things, things happen more, more than more than what is happening in the southeast. In the southwest here, we see people that kidnap, we see people that use people for blood, money, and we, do, we don't we don't we don't attack them back. What they put in the law and in the official hand. Have you ever seen a white man country behave like that? Ah. Man, I don't know. Ah, may God help us in this country, guys. Let me know your opinion about the angry mob that destroyed truck fully loaded with cows. It is so 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 annoying. I don't even like it at all. I'm so so disappointed with the youth over there. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Now, how do you guys want to gain your freedom? How do you guys want to gain your freedom? When they when when they've even seen that two people. Because if you are, if you want to if you want to be set free away from a nation, you, you have to do everything in peace, not 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 in not in a in a chaos or harmful manner. Ah, God help us, guys. Let me know what you you think in the comment section. Kindly like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you on the next one. So disappointed.